Hey guys, Josh here. I hope you're all doing amazing today. As you can see right now, I'm on Harvey's Island. I was here yesterday as well for the wedding event. I really like that event. I think it's a lot of fun. But I feel like Reese and Cyrus deserve a little bit more than what I made for them yesterday, which was a very uh, classic, very traditional wedding place. So today I'm going there with the mindset that I really want to make something special for them. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to build yet. It's all going to depend on the theme uh, that they give me. Uh, yeah, let's check this out. Alright, so she's asking me to build a wedding reception this time. Uh, this is exciting because yesterday she asked me for the wedding chapel and I don't know why but I assumed it would always be the same room. But no, it's actually a different room every day. So that's really nice. And she wants me to make it cute with pink and white so these are the same colors as yesterday but that's okay uh, we'll find a way to make things look original all right so let's jump into it so at first i really had no idea what i was going for actually i kind of wished it would have given me a different theme than on the first day because i i, I did pink and white the first day but I was just thinking at this point and trying to find some of my furniture that would fit the color scheme without necessarily having to be like typical wedding furniture. So I was just looking for stuff that would be pink or white. And then I saw this cherry blossom floor, which I really like. And I had this chocolate wall, so I was thinking maybe chocolate or maybe cherry blossom. And I decided to go with the cherry blossom theme and give them a kind of Japanese style wedding and I also I just noticed that you could actually change the color of the picture frame that you get for your villagers I I didn't know that before so yeah so I was just trying to find some Japanese furniture and pink furniture and I found this uh, DJ booth which I really like I feel like I'm really lucky that I actually had the pink one uh, because I don't have that much furniture yet so yeah, I was just really happy that I had the pink one and I just knew and I, I wanted to put some CDs on the wall so I was just looking through the CDs and taking everything that would fit the colors then I realized that if you put them on the floor first you can't put them on the wall afterwards so I just deleted everything and put it back on the wall then basically I was just playing around with the CDs, the songs, right? Uh, just experimenting, trying to find the best spot for them. And I decided to place them behind the DJ booth because I think that's where it makes the most sense, right? And then I wanted to fill the last corner of the room where I am right now, where my character is. And I found this table, which I really like and basically i wanted to make a corner where guests would be able to serve themselves with food and drinks so i got this cart and i was just looking for some nice furniture i wanted to see how the lighthouse looked inside it looks really big outside right but yeah actually it's not that big and i wanted a dj and I could have been the DJ, but I wanted to use this cute pink bear. Then it was time to place some chairs. I decided to go with the wedding chairs that they gave me. Uh, because first I think they look quite good and I wanted to make sure that I would meet their criteria for the event. And I know it's based partly on the colors that you use but also on the furniture that you use so i just wanted to use at least a, a few of their items and i had to stick them on the wall in order to have enough space to put my cherry blossoms in front of the door and i moved this table and then the next thing i tried to do is to create a dance floor so i was looking for a carpet that would mimic a kind of dance floor but i couldn't find anything so i just decided to go with this pink and white carpet which i think looks quite lovely and the wedding reception is where the wedding after party happens right 
so for this reason i wanted it to look really good when the lights are off so i decided to put a lot of lights uh these spotlights they're not pink they're red but i think they still look really good and when the lights are off i think it looks yeah it looks pretty good actually this was my first time really using the photo studio I went there once when I just got it, so like in the first week of playing, but at that time of course you don't have any furniture, right? So I couldn't do much and I didn't really get the point of it, I thought it was a bit useless. But now going there and realizing that you can actually use everything you have in your catalog, I think it's a pretty great tool and if you just want to try out new ideas and be creative without having to move everything in your own house and you just have an instant access to all the furniture yeah I'm sure I'll go back there in the future so at this point I was quite satisfied with the lighting and the atmosphere of the room so I decided to put some food on the table However, I didn't really like how it looked because you know there's four spots on the table and all the items look very divided, doesn't look natural at all. So my idea was to use the cherry blossom picnic set. So I just kept looking for that set, I couldn't find it. So I just kept looking and looking for I think almost 10 minutes, it was really hard, it was not in the... I couldn't find it in the furniture, I couldn't find it in the smaller items. Uh, I found these cherry blossoms that I decided to put on the floor. I think they look pretty good. And I went back to searching for my picnic set. I found them in the all category, but I don't know if you look for it individually, I'm not sure where it is. And then I realized that I couldn't put it on the table. So all that search was for nothing and I just decided to put the table how it was before. I'm not 100% satisfied with it, but yeah, I guess it looks fine. Then I decided it was time to decorate the walls a little bit. I was looking for anything pink or white, then I saw this bouquet. I think it's a DIY, I'm not sure, I never, I actually I never saw this item before. And yeah, so and I was looking for something else, maybe a painting, but I didn't really I don't have much wall furniture. I wish I had a big painting that's white or pink, but I didn't have much. So I decided to put also the wedding flowers that they gave me. And yeah, I just ended up putting uh, flowers on the all of the walls. I really wish we had windows in this game that you could just put on the wall. I know there's some wallpapers that have windows in them, but if we had like just actual windows, we'd make things so much easier. And I found this clock, and that was pretty much it for my wall furniture. I ended up putting a few more music albums on uh, near the DJ booth, but um, yeah, I didn't have much else to put, so this part of the wall was left a little bit empty. As you may or may not know, I really like turtles. I was looking for a place to put a turtle, but it didn't really fit the team, and yeah, it just didn't work. So my next idea was to make an aquarium. I wanted to use the koi fish. So I ended up using two of them, and I was making basically a bar where people could just put their drinks while they're dancing. So yeah, I just end up putting uh, the two aquariums and I'll put a few drinks on them. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for my cherry blossom themed wedding reception. I decided to turn off the lights, turn on the aquariums, put on some nice music. And I must say overall I'm quite satisfied with the results. The atmosphere is really nice I think and I know I'm not the best decorator I also don't necessarily have the biggest catalog but I think the result is quite nice I decided to place Reese and Cyrus there for their picture it didn't end up really being a good spot so I'll move them uh, into the center of the room a little bit later so here I was taking the final picture for our lovely couple they ended up loving the room 
and I hope you guys liked it too as much as I liked creating it and actually I think this event is so much fun compared to the other events we had in the past and you can just be creative and be original you know it doesn't have to be a typical wedding reception right now guys I'd really like to know what did you create for recent Cyrus did you do anything special or just something classic let me know in the comments and if you like the video please like and subscribe for more Animal Crossing content in the future thank you so much for watching have a good day